Hey there, how are you doing? Welcome to another Fantabulous tutorial. Today we'll be learning how to create cross processing in Adobe Photoshop. This effect is very easy to create but it gives a very impact to your image. It gives you the cinematic look to your image. So we'll take one image which is straight out of the camera. First thing first we'll do the basic editing to this image like adjusting brightness, exposure, details and all that and next we'll add the cross processing effect to this image using Adobe Camera Raw Filter. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs> First thing first, let's create a duplicate copy of it by pressing Ctrl J on your keyboard. Now we'll access the camera raw filter, which can be accessed by pressing Ctrl Shift A, and it will open this image into camera raw, where we can do the editing. Okay, so let's first go with the auto option. Oh, but it has made it way small. Okay. Uh, me, sorry, it has made it way too darker. Increase the exposure a little bit. Contrast highlights add the contrast a little bit. Shadows we need to bring out some shadows so that we get the details over here. Okay, we can increase it. Yes, now we can see clearly how much details we are having. If you want, you can increase a little bit of clarity, okay? And vibrance, if you want. I don't usually go for the saturation. I recommend increasing the vibration because that gives you more natural results. Okay, now let's come to the details. Sharpening, press Alt on your keyboard and start dragging it towards it. Where we see only the edges of the image so that the sharpening applies only the only to the places where the white is visible wherever there is a black color the white the sharpening will not apply okay increase the sharpening okay luminance is the noise reduction if you want let's make it seven or eight percent that's fine okay and let's remove chromatic abrasion Alright, view of saturation, we can give it, uh, give some effects to this by using this, okay. okay let's let it be like this, highlights, and let the shadow be somewhat blue or purple. Uh, yes, around here. Okay, can increase the saturation of it. All right. Now add some effects of post crop vignette in order to bring the focus to this particular image or to the main subject of our image. Okay, and uh, now press OK. That's it. If you want, you can further add some effects to this, but I think that this one is looking perfect. Okay, so this was the before and this was after. Thank you so much.